Hey guys, this is Barry Myers, the husband behind StacyMakesSense.com, and today I'm going to do Ask Barry a little differently. As you noticed, I'm coming to you on video rather than in a text post because I want to address a question that I got a couple of times this week from a couple of different people on totally unrelated conversations. And that was the idea of being a stay-at-home wife and what I thought about it as a husband. Well, first off, let me tell you what the two questions were. The first one was from a lady who said, Hey, I don't feel like that I contribute to our household if I'm not working, because I'm not bringing in a paycheck and thus I'm just not contributing. Well, there's the question, first question. Is the wife contributing if she's not working? The second question was from a lady who said, My husband and I both want me to be able to stay home with our kids, but I bring home about two-thirds of the income and the insurance, so we don't know how to make it possible. So this lady was obviously on board with the idea and was her husband, but they didn't think they could make it financially if they did it. So I want to address both of those. First, let me talk about the contribution to the household. And I'm going to do so by telling you what my day looked like yesterday when I came home. It was a beautiful and sunny day. I came home from work. I had to work a little late, so it was about 6 o'clock when I got in. And when I got home, my wife was cooking dinner. My daughter was playing outside in the yard. The house was clean. The laundry had been done. So I came home. I kissed my wife. I kissed my daughter. I kissed the dog. And I went and played with my daughter for, you know, 30 minutes or so until dinner was finished ready, uh, finished being ready. And then we went in and he had supper. I helped mow. I did a little mowing. And then I came in and I relaxed. That was it. That was my evening. I didn't have to worry with house chores. I didn't have to worry with my wife being stressed out about what was going to be cooked for dinner when she got home from work. I didn't have to worry about my daughter having to have all these things done for school or for whatever else. When I got home, things were taken care of. All I had to do was come home and be with my family. Now, to me, that's a major contribution. Now, did she financially contribute to the household? Well, not really. Uh, Stacy Makes Sense does make a little bit of money, but that's not the point. The point is, we were able to work it out to where I didn't have to do a lot of the stuff as a husband, and I liked that. Second to that, when I came home, we didn't have to worry about the expenses of my wife having been at work. We didn't have the, the clothes for her to have to wear the fancy stuff for a job. We didn't have the gas for her to run around all day. We didn't have to have daycare for our daughter, and we didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. So to me, I think there's a major contribution in a household from a stay-at-home mom. As you can tell, I'm a big fan. Stacy has almost always been a stay-at-home wife slash mom, and we really think that it's been very valuable for our family. Now, if you are a woman who wants to work, I think that's cool. I don't have a problem with it. But I don't think that it's a fair argument to say that you don't contribute if that you're not in the workplace. Now, the second question was, my husband and I want to be able to have me stay at home and take care of the kids, but we just can't afford it, or we don't think we can. Maybe you're right. You know, I can't argue with the math of a budget. If the math doesn't work in your situation, there's not a lot you can do. However, you can slowly, or maybe sometimes quickly, change the math. For example, obviously, if you're bringing home the bulk of the income, you need to figure out, can you make it on one? Maybe you've already done that and said the answer is no. So what changes do you need to make to make it possible? Maybe you need to do something small, like cut out cable, or reduce your certain a budget on entertainment, or on clothing, or on, on just things that you can change pretty quickly and easily by just buckling down a little bit. Maybe it's more drastic. Maybe your husband needs to find a better paying job. Maybe you need to sell a car or two and drive something that's a little cheaper that's used. That's what Stacy and I have always done, and I've never regretted it. Um, maybe you need to do something really drastic. If you are both fully committed to the idea, maybe you need to sell your house and live in something that you can afford on one salary. I don't know what those changes are. But what I do know is, if that you believe strongly that you need to be a stay-at-home mom, I'm going to back you all the way. And if your budget tells you you can't afford to do it, then all you need to do is sit down and start to figure out what changes you can make to get you there. So now, as a man, as a husband, I firmly believe in the stay-at-home mom concept. I think it's traditional, I think it's wonderful, and I think that it's a blessing to my family and from God for us to be able to do it. Now, I want to know what you think. First off, do you like this video stuff? This is the very first video we've ever done at Stacy Makes Sense, and do you want to see more of them? Second, if you're a stay-at-home mom or a husband of a stay-at-home mom, what are your thoughts? Can you make it work? How do you make it work? Or is it really not working at all? And then last, but maybe not, maybe not any less important, is the concept of if you want to be a stay-at-home parent, if you want to be able to give it a try, what's keeping you from it? Do you believe that you should or shouldn't do it? Are there challenges to it? I, I want to know. 
So share in your comments. Let's start a discussion about what it means to be a stay-at-home mom, whether you want to talk biblically, whether you want to talk you know, financially, whatever the case may be. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you've enjoyed it, and this may be one of many more to come. We'll see. Please put your comments in the post below, and, and I just look forward to seeing what you have to say. Thanks. Have a great day.